Hello, my name is Pat Bowes and welcome to SCAN. SCAN stands for Social Community Activities Network and we have been providing services here in the Monmouth Mall to Monmouth and Ocean County residents for the last 28 years. It's my pleasure today to introduce Christopher Merkel, Public Health Coordinator for the Monmouth County Department of Health, who will be talking to us about programs and services that we w that they provide in Monmouth County to all of our residents. So welcome. Thank you. It's nice to have you here. Pleasure to be here. Um, I'm used to seeing you at county meetings in regards to Human Service Advisory Commission. Yes. And um, so I'm happy that you were able to make it. Thank you. So at, before we get started and talk about the valuable services that you provide, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you have come to um, be the coordinator of public health here in Monmouth. Well, thank you for inviting me. Um, I started my career back in the uh, late 90s um, in the southern region of the county, um, 1998 to be exact. And no, we're uh, not counting, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I have a, just a little bit, I guess, about my educational background. I have a bachelor's of science, public health uh, uh, specific. I also have my master's of public health from uh, University of Medicine Dentistry of New Jersey, UMDNJ, uh -huh. which is now integrated into the Rutgers School of Public Health. Um, I, I, my, my background's really environmental health. Um, I hold a uh, registered environmental health specialist license. That's a fancy term in New Jersey for a health inspector. Okay. So I started my career doing uh, health inspections, uh, restaurant inspections, uh, public bathing facility inspections, uh, responding to uh, public complaints about health nuisances. And uh, I also have a um, hazmat background. So you come to the table well educated yes. with lots of experience. And you've been in Monmouth County how long? Uh, a little over a year now, about a year and a half. And. Um, I have to tell you, and I, I mean, I'd be the first, probably not the only, who's ever told you I had no idea what the health department actually did in regards to all the services that you provide. Yes, I get and, that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and all of the assistance that you provide, whether it's directly or to other municipalities, because not everybody is under your domain. It uh, really depends on the service we're talking about. Um, we provide uh, certain municipalities in Monmouth County with public health and nursing services and other services in the environmental health uh, uh, inspection and hazmat response, we cover the entire county of Monmouth. So with that said, so now tell us all of the wonderful programs that you do provide so that the public can have a better idea because truly um, when I came to your facility a, a couple months ago, um, which is uh, located where? Uh, it's uh, 3435 Route 9 in Freehold on the northbound side. And uh, again, I, uh, it, was, it was a pleasant experience, um, but I didn't realize how big you were as far as the health department and all the stuff that you provided. So share with us some of the things, the vital programs that you have. Certainly. Um, probably touch on a few that your audience may be very interested in. We, we, uh, we provide a vast array of services, as you indicated, to the public. And, and unfortunately, public health is always fighting this identity crisis to get the information out to the public because the public's really, for the most part, unfortunately, unaware of a lot of the services we provide um, and a lot free of charge. So uh, I guess I should start with our vaccination clinics. Um, we provide, uh, we work with our towns to set up uh, flu clinics during flu season. That's very important, especially for the senior population. So are you in the middle of that now? Uh, yes, we are. Um, uh, the uh, flu season runs till the end of March. Okay. Um, so uh, that's very important for everybody to get a flu shot to uh, re reduce their chances of getting the flu. You can still get the flu if sure. you get the flu shot, as we know, but it really reduces the, the severe symptoms, especially in the, uh, in the senior population. Okay, so what other kind of vaccinations and stuff do you do? We, are, we also, right now, are providing uh, Tdap uh, vaccinations. Um, that's something, uh, that's a vaccine preventable disease, um, which we haven't seen in a while, but it's making a great resurgence, partly in, 
for a number of reasons. Number one, uh, the, the vaccination is not a lifelong uh, immunity. So we're seeing a lot of uh, grandparents and parents that received the shot a long uh, time ago uh, getting what's called waning immunity, where the immunity to uh, pertussis, or it's also called whooping cough, um, is not as effective as it used to be. And we, we talked uh, the other day about uh, the commercial that, uh, Glax the wolf. <laughs> yes, that GlaxoSmithKline yeah. puts out. Um, it's a very uh, telling commercial about uh, a grandmother who's uh, not immunized or has that waning immunity and she has the wolf said um, uh, to signify that she has the ability, unfortunately, to pass whooping cough onto her infant grandchild. Wow. Um, and, and that's, that's uh, a lot of people are unaware of that. The, the, the current recommendation from the CDC is for everybody to get one adult dose um, so to, to booster their immunity against pertussis because uh, infants uh, um, do not handle full-blown whooping cough very well and, and it, it can be fatal to infants. So, I mean, I think it's a really good topic because it's something that I've not heard of, especially, I mean, being in the aging world as much as I am, mm -hmm. that it's so um, detrimental yeah. in regards to their grandkids or their great-grands. And so where do they get this shot? Can they get it um, from their doctors? Can they get it locally? Where, where can that be had? Well, the Monmouth County Health Department is uh, offering it uh, free of charge, availability, depending, of course. Sure. Um, they can contact uh, our main number, 732-431-7456, and make an appointment. Or they can re they should reach out to their family physician. The, 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 one, one of the other big problems, Pat, with this is um, that doctors don't see it a lot, so they're misdiagnosing it. Okay. Um, so, and, and also in the senior population, they did have the shot most likely at some point in their life. Mm -hmm. So they won't get the full blown whooping cough. Right. But they're still contagious. Right. Okay. So again, I, I'm, I'm so happy that you're bringing that to the table for us today. So what are some of the other services that you provide? I know that there's one, your eye health clinic, that I think you yes. need to share because it was yes. the best kept secret I ever heard of. Yes. And I'm going to be referring lots of people to you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we're very excited. We partner with the Commission for the Blind in providing a, a free monthly eye screening clinic. It's very popular. Again, um, if anybody's interested, um, they can contact the main number and make an appointment. Um, and it's, it's once a month uh, at our location in Freehold. And we have a doctor on site. Um, there's, there's free uh, eye screenings. And they get to see the doctor if they need to be re referred for a more serious condition found during the evaluation, they will do so. And uh, there's also f free vouchers uh, for eyeglasses. Really? Yes. Okay, I didn't know that piece, so that's yes. an added bonus. And, and in addition, uh, we, we also have other services provided um, during that eye clinic. We provide free blood lead screenings. Um, and there's a lot of information about the Affordable Care Act and, and those types of things. So we do know that through the eye, doctors can see a lot of other things that's going on in somebody's brain or health in general, like yes. diabetes and stuff. So I know that you had some really good success stories in regards to helping, uh, saving some people from you know, chronic illness. Yes, we have, uh, the doctor has found some uh, individuals that had uh, complications uh, with their eyesight due to uh, their their diabetes and we also had um, uh, a young lady we tell the story a lot that was um, found to have a brain tumor um, during one of our eye clinics and if she had not been seen at our free eye screening clinic um, she may not have survived. Wow. So. Is there an income limit uh, in regards to people who are seen or eligible to come and get a free eye exam? I'm sorry, sir. Is there an income um, eligibility? Uh, if they're uninsured, then, then we typically see the uninsured. Okay. That, that's, that's the population that we 
see. And we do know that a lot of people, especially seniors, don't have insurance for eye care. Correct. So that's exciting. So we will get that word out for you, um, okay. and we'll make sure that people uh, know that phone number, which is? 732-431-7456. Perfect. So tell us a little more about the other programs. I don't want to hog it up just for senior issues. No, not at all. Um, we, we also have uh, a vast array of services. Um, uh, we have a lot of inspection services that we do. We have, as you know, Monmouth County uh, is a uh, Shore County community. And in the summer, we have uh, tons of different uh, events where food vendors appear. So uh, one of the missions the of food the, trucks. the food trucks, yes, and, and, and fixed restaurants, both, but certainly the food trucks in the summer go to a lot of different events. So we inspect the food trucks okay. in the summer to ensure that if you're going to one of our short, great short towns in Monmouth County in the summer, that the food you're eating is safe to eat. Perfect. Um, also, uh, again, we have a lot of short towns and, and uh, Ocean bathing is, is very popular in Monmouth County uh, during the summer season. So w one of our other programs we have is to test uh, the ocean water to make sure that the, the bacteria levels meet standard. And it's safe for the bathers to go in and enjoy the uh, ocean here in Monmouth County. So again, I, when I think of the health department, I don't think that of that or you doing that. I know someone does it, but we would never. I was never clear on who does it. So it's really no, good to know that. The other is that you do have some nurses on staff, and they provide different kinds of screenings. Yes, um, we we have a nursing staff that uh, runs a lot of our clinics. is involved in our clinics. We also provide uh, women health screenings, uh, pap tests, uh, mammography checks. Um, which are all very important for women. And that's done at your main location? Uh, for the most part, yes. Okay. Um, so the other piece that I'm interested in is um, I know that there is a, an annual report that you put out. Yes. So how does one get it? Uh, what does it look like? Okay. Um, well, yeah, I have a copy here. Okay. So I'd like to show the audience. Um, this is uh, our cover here, and um, it's a very comprehensive review of the previous year's activities and what we did. Uh, we all, all always post it on our uh, website, county website. It's uh, www.visitmammoth.com forward slash health. And they can go on, and we have an annual report section where they can um, download it or view it uh, on the computer. It's a very comprehensive review of our programs that we do. And I would probably suggest that not only the general public, but other service providers like SCAN um, go and look at that because, I, again, after reviewing your report, it was like, eye-opening about all the stuff that you do because I, I just don't think that anyone understands how big um, yes. the health department is in, in this county and other counties so I do recommend that um, yes the other is so if we're talking about uh, preventive measurements as far as in public health and you know reducing chances of contacting the flu or other kinds of mm -hmm. um, diseases, what are some of the recommendations that the health department has available for us? Well, that's a great question, Pat. Um, uh, the, the, the main mission of public health is prevention. So we are always out um, in the communities, in, in the schools, in, uh, uh, we go to health fairs, uh, any uh, community gatherings to try to get the word out about prevention. And in terms of um, what, what um, uh, seniors can do and what the general public can do in terms of reducing their chances of c contracting especially the seasonal flu um, is they always want to uh, wash their hands frequently be because our hands are the main vectors of, of transmitting disease. And I had recently heard I was someplace and they were telling us that most people don't wash their hands well that if they look at their hands under a microscope after they wash, that yeah. usually their thumbs and the back of the hand still have lots of germs. That's true. <laughs> um, we we um, uh, encourage proper hand washing. Um, one of the uh, 
typical ways is saying happy birthday while you're washing your hands. Well, that's good. Yes. <laughs> Especially if it's your birthday. Yes. And uh, you want to use uh, soap and warm water. And, and it's the action of rubbing your hands together to push the germs off your hands. So, so you know, frequent and adequate hand washing, it, it goes a long way to preventing someone from, from getting a cold or the seasonal flu. Also, you want to um, cover your cough because that's how it's transmitted. So if you just cough or sneeze without, without you want to use your elbow, not into your hand, because then again, you're, you're touching you're, somebody right, you're, or you're, something. You're shaking hands, you're touching doorknobs, those types of things. And also, uh, we always encourage people to stay home if they're sick. Um, you know, people are, are very diligent workers and they don't want to miss work. But that's also how you transmit disease, and that's how we get uh, outbreaks in schools. Yeah, and again, because I, we're working with the mature adult population, mm -hmm. um, sometimes their vulnerability is compromised. Yes. And so we encourage students here, or our members who are not feeling well, that um, they can make up a class or something like that so that they don't feel worse and they don't infect other people. Because again, this is a, a school, um, and so we have to follow a lot of those rules and regulations. So, anything else in regards to prevention that one should be thinking about? Uh, well, we're um, you know going to be coming up in the next couple of months. Uh, it's going to be warming up, so we want uh, people will be going outside more. Um, so we want to think about um, tick-borne and mosquito-borne diseases. Um, they're, wow. they're very uh, prevalent in the news recently. Um, there's, a, there's a new strain of uh, mosquito-borne disease uh, called the Zika virus uh, that's prevalent in South and Central America that we've seen some uh, imported cases in this country from people, you know, flying into this country. So um, people want to think about when they're outside uh, especially in areas that have a lot of wetlands, um, very, uh, you know, near uh, the Bay Shore area, um, that they take preventative measures to reduce their chances of getting bit by a mosquito by, uh, such as wearing long pants, mm -hmm. uh, long shirts, uh, wearing bug repellent, um, identifying water sources on their own properties, uh, you know, animal water bowls, uh, pails, buckets, anything that will collect the water and yeah. uh, eliminate those sources. Yeah, and we do know that, that most of the time if someone gets infected by a tick that they don't really even know that they are until other symptoms develop and it, yes. it becomes really in some cases very um, crisis oriented. Yes, and Lyme disease is, is, huge. is huge in Monmouth County. It's a, it's a big problem. Yeah. So we have about two more minutes. So what else would you like to share with us? Well, I, I think uh, I'd like to go back to the beginning where you made the statement about not knowing all the services um, that the health department provides. And, and uh, at the Monmouth County Health Department, we've been uh, trying to do a lot of things to get the word out, uh, such as our annual report. Mm -hmm. And um, we will be uh, releasing uh, very soon, for the first time, the Monmouth County uh, electronic newsletter that oh, will come great. out periodically. It will provide valuable information on health-related topics and also uh, highlight some of our programs that we have at the health department. Will someone have to sign up for that to receive it, or do you have a master list that you're sending it out to? Uh, the answer is both. Okay. Uh, they can sign up if they go to our website. Which is? www.visitmonmouth.com forward slash health. Okay. Um, there will be a pop-up box where they can enter their information and email address, and they will get put on our email listserv and automatically get that um, a periodic health newsletter uh, in their email. So I want to tell you that we would love to be part of your news network going forward in regard to getting your information out to um, our members, because we have over a thousand members at SCAN, and we have potentially another three thousand prospects 
that Wonderful. have come through our doors, whether it's through the Boscoff classes or through SCAN. So we'd be more than happy to partner with you on, on doing that. That'd be and wonderful. We're, we're really excited, too, that we're expanding and we have, we'll have a satellite in Freehold, so we're not going to mm. be far from you. Very close. And we will be transporting a bunch of seniors. Well, we'll make the arrangements yes. to come <laughs> use your, um, your, your facility as far as the eye clinic. So I'm really excited about that. Great. So I really want to take this opportunity to thank you for being a guest on our show, bringing this good information to us, and we'll make sure that it gets out to the world. Thank you very much. It was thank great you. being here. Thank you. Um, we'll take a short break right now and be back um, with Andrea Tarr talking about what's going on at SCAN. Take it from me. Living with a chronic disease is no easy task, but I learned to better manage my health condition and you can too. Take Control of Your Health is the chronic disease self-management program created by Stanford University. This fun, innovative course is now offered to all county residents. Diabetes, arthritis, heart disease, cancer. Take Control of Your Health gives proven strategies to manage these conditions and reclaim your life. See how nutrition, exercise, and various mind techniques can help you overcome depression, increase energy, and manage pain. You'll not only get this book when you participate, you'll also receive the guidance and support of others living with a chronic illness, just like you. Take control of your health in six short sessions. Call the number on your screen to register or get further information at ScanNJ.com. Brought to you by SCAN, Social Community Activities Network, with funding made available by the Monmouth County Office on Aging. Welcome back. My name is Pat Bowes, and I am here with Andrea Tarr, who is the program director for SCAN. So welcome. Hey, Pat. Thanks for having me. Well, I, you're my <laughs> favorite guest all the time oh, on these shows because you. you always come with wonderful information about what we're doing or planning to do or done. So where are we at? And as always, we have a lot of things happening. So first of all, you know, we just finished our, uh, our winter campus of courses. Yes, and again, I don't <sighs> know if many of the people understand that. We do public education. Um, in conjunction with the Boscoff department stores in their stores both in Monmouth and right. Ocean County. So that means that we set up those classes work in conjunction with their staff. Yes. We um, in many cases administer those programs and find the speakers and presenters. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about that because it really um, this public education piece, I think, is so valuable to us and, and what we do. it's wide-ranging. It's everything from fun and entertaining to seriously informative. and It's just everything in between. Something for everyone, not just for seniors, but we definitely skew things a little bit for our audience. Great. Yeah. And we actually still have a few weeks left of the campus of courses in the Ocean County Mall in Toms River. That will be in the, uh, maybe the first three weeks of March. Great. So it's not too late. And of course, something very exciting that we did for the first time, Valentine's Day. We didn't celebrate Valentine's Day. We celebrated Chinese New Year. Yes, our first. Big time, big time, our first. It was uh, the lion and the dragon. And um, we worked in conjunction with the uh, Chinese medical department at Mammoth Medical Center. Yes. And we really, we had a full program, it was really wonderful, all kinds of exhibits and singing and dancing and a lot of local Chinese schools participated. It was really a lot of fun. I know, and, and they're, it, it's very colorful what they do, so maybe you want to share with our audience yeah. a, a calendar that we have right. been uh, able to secure. This is a calendar, this is just the cover of the calendar, it's so gorgeous, and this is the Chinese symbol for prosperity. Yes, we all could is, use that. Which is everywhere. So this is just one little sample of some of the things yes. that we got to work and with. And it's the year of the monkey. The year of the monkey, yep. So we're excited about that. And what else we did, uh, something else that was really a lot of fun, a little bit before Chinese New Year on February 10th, we did a two hour kind of a cultural workshop, I'll call it, on, on the Chinese culture. Because there is a ton of significance going on during the Chinese New Year that most people wouldn't know anything about. Well, the best for me was on the seventh day of the New Year, is everybody's birthday. Every, well, that, and that was, that it was um, February 14th, Valentine's yes, Day. So Everyone celebrates. So what else is going on? So that was all a lot of fun. 
So now for something a little more serious, uh, the Food Bank, which we always partner with, is doing their, their VITA program where they offer their free tax uh, preparation. A little bit different this year because they are doing it, at, they have a storefront right outside on the second floor of the mall right outside of Boscov's. And I, I'm happy to say that we were very instrumental yes. in helping yes. them get that store so that they can provide services to the community mm -hmm. from February to the end They're of April. They're going to go right through the end of tax season. Right. Yeah. And so um, you can walk in. You don't need an appointment. But if you're, you know, if time is an issue, you might want to call the food bank. And um, we have a lot of information here in the office if anyone has any questions, or you can call the food bank directly. The other is that we're going to probably be having our grand opening for our new satellite in, in Freehold Borough. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure the audience knows that we have provided services in Freehold in 2015 right. to 25 fabulous seniors. Um, and we have gained their trust and admiration and vice versa. Yeah. And they've asked us to stay, so we, we're trying to. We're looking for funding, but we will be there one day a week um, at the YMCA's community center. Yes, it'll be on Tuesdays. Tuesdays mm -hmm. uh, at 41 Center Street in Freehold. It's open to any senior who would like to come, and we'll be providing lots of interesting classes and we will. entertainment. We definitely will. It's, it's exciting to, you know, be out out of our four walls. Yeah. For sure. And let's see, we have um, let everyone know that on, on March twenty third, we're having our our uh, every semester we do our behind the scenes and this one is going to be behind the scenes at Info Age at Camp Evans. Yes. And that's gonna be again something kind of different. And um, it's $15, we're gonna have a tour, we're gonna have a private tour, we're gonna get a lecture, and of course, refreshments. Of course. So that'll be a lot of fun. The other thing that I just really wanna share for the first time is that we'll, we're gonna be having a technology yeah, fair. Yeah. SCAN will be hosting it now that we're getting into this whole digital and techie world. Um, but we'll have some keynote speakers and breakout sessions talking about the latest and the greatest in technology for seniors, talking about um, Health, telehealth, where seniors in the future might be able to go visit their doctors via their tablets. So one more thing before we close, because we only have about 20 more seconds. Well, um, we had a, also our technology fair is coming up in April 2nd, so stand by for details. That's in conjunction with Monmouth University. Yes, and we'll be doing that. So I'm excited um, about the agenda for this year and all the new stuff that we're doing. So I want to thank you and our, former, and our previous guest. Um, and I would like to invite all of our uh, viewing audience to stop in at SCAN, come visit us, take a tour, try a class. Thank you. How to locate SCAN. SCAN is easy to locate once you find the movie theater at Mammoth Mall. As you enter the parking lot from Route 35, the theater is almost directly ahead of you. Drive towards the theater, but go up along the left side into the parking lot. As you approach the end, you will see entrance number three on your right. Park and enter the building here. Once inside, you will see a staircase that only goes down. After passing through the doors at the bottom, turn to your left and scan is right there.